Hi everyone, I'm Yelena. And I'm Diak, and we're both customer engineers at Google Cloud. Welcome back to the technical series for startups, where we're creating a series of videos for technical enablement to help startups to start, build, and grow their businesses successfully and sustainably on Google Cloud. In the previous video, we deep dived into automating your development lifecycle with CI and CD pipelines. And now, we'll talk about how to improve the performance and reliability of your applications with cloud operations. In this video, we're going to cover Introduction to the Cloud Operations Suite, formerly known as Tech Driver. Operation tools as means to have observability over your Google Cloud resources. Application performance management tools to improve performance and reliability of your applications. Finally, we'll share a customer success story to demonstrate the value of the Google Cloud Operation Suite. If you ever worked with on-premises environment, you know that if your application becomes unresponsive, somebody can walk in, physically check why, and resolve the issue. In the cloud, though, how do you know what's happening with your server, database, or application? The answer is simple, with the tools that we will show you in this video. Capturing of telemetry, login, and trace data is done from the hardware layer and up for Google products. From these products, signal data flows into cloud operation tools where it can be visualized in dashboards and through the Metrics Explorer. Automated and custom logs can be ingested and analyzed in the log viewer. Services can be monitored for compliance with the service level objectives and error budgets can be tracked. Health checks can be used to check uptime and latency for external facing sites and services. And running applications can be debugged and profiled. When incidents occur, signal data can generate automated alerts that can notify personnel through various notification channels. Error reporting can help operation and developer teams to spot, count, and analyze crashes in your cloud-based services. Finally, all the visualization and analysis tools can help to troubleshoot what's happening in your Google Cloud environment. Let's start first with exploring the products that tend to be of interest for the operation folks. Cloud Logging provides a centralized cloud logging system that you can use to store, search, analyze, monitor, and alert log data and events from all Google Cloud resources, but also to collect data from multi-cloud environments with Anthos integration. Cloud Logging also provides integration into third-party systems through the API and Cloud PubSub. The expert functionality allows you to perform aggregated analytics in BigQuery and store your logs in Google Cloud Storage. As you can see from this quick demo, with features like Histogram, Logs Field Explorer, you can quickly gain insights into trends across your logs. Error reporting provides insights into your errors by collecting and grouping your application errors. There are three key log categories, audit logs, agent logs, and network logs. Audit logs help answer the question who did what, where, and when. And those are admin activity logs, data access logs, system event, and data transparency logs. Agent logs use a Google Customize and Package FluentD agent that can be installed on any Google Cloud or AWS VM instance and ingest logs from Google Cloud or AWS EC2 instance. Finally, network logs provide in-depth network telemetry with VPC flow logs, firewall rules, NAT gateway, and load balancer types. Cloud monitoring allows you to collect metrics from multi-cloud and hybrid infrastructure in real time. By using cloud monitoring, you can answer important questions like, what is the load on my service? Is my website responding correctly? Is my service performing well? To understand the current load on a service or to view performance data of your service for the past month, use the charts and dashboard tools. If you're interested in being notified if your deployed service isn't accessible or responding correctly, then configure an uptime check and attach an alerting policy. This is an example of Metrics Explorer, where you can explore metric lists for all GCP services and add them to different chart types. Monitoring has many predefined metric types and monitored resources available, but you can also create custom metrics. If you don't want to save the chart to a custom dashboard, but you want to keep a reference to the chart, then save the chart URL. Dashboards are one way for you to view and analyze metric data. The Cloud Console provides 15 predefined dashboards that require no setup or configuration. Your Google Cloud project resources determine the dashboards available for you. 
For example, if your project contains Compute Engine instances, then your project includes dashboards for VM instances and for disks. Hey everyone! The next step is for us to check out some tools to help you manage your application's performance. At the heart of measuring application performance in Google Cloud lies Cloud Debugger. It lets you inspect the state of a running application in real time without stopping your application or slowing it down, all at no cost. With Cloud Debugger, you can examine your code's function and performance under actual production conditions. How convenient is that? In addition to real-time app debugging, Cloud Debugger allows you to capture the state of your application in production at a specific line location with snapshots. You can see this on the right. I first set up a snapshot at line 73. You can see in the snapshot column that it's waiting for a change. I then go to my application and provoke a state change by clicking the Add to Cart button. You can immediately see the state capture by the snapshot. Specifically, that the cost ID variable set at line 73 has the value undefined. Moving on from snapshots, you can also use log points to inject a new logging statement on demand at a specific line location, as well as capture a snapshot or write a log point message only when you need it, using a simple conditional expression written in your application's language. The ease of use of Cloud Debugger is further extended by its integration with existing developer workflows and popular IDEs. You can easily collaborate with other teams by sharing your debug session. In this demo, I can simply share my console URL with a team member and they'll be able to see the snapshot I created. Debugger also knows how to display the correct version of your source code because it easily integrates with version control systems such as cloud source repositories, GitHub, Bitbucket, or GitLab. Now that we've seen how easy and convenient it is to work with Debugger, let me tell you what Cloud Trace is. Based on the tools that Google itself uses on its production services, Cloud Trace is a tracing system that collects, analyzes, and displays latency data from your distributed applications and displays it in the Google Cloud Console. Cloud Trace can capture traces from applications deployed on App Engine, Compute Engine VMs, and Kubernetes Engine containers. It generates performance insights near real time and automatically generates in depth latency reports. Finally, Cloud Trace also continuously gathers and analyzes trace data to automatically identify recent changes to your application's performance. Let me show you a quick demo of Cloud Trace. First, when opening Cloud Trace in the Google Cloud Console, I immediately see an overview of previous traces and a report of latency. Let's navigate to the Trace List page. I'll create some filters to see calls to a currency service of my application that are only getting GET requests, which took at least 1000 milliseconds from request to response. I then select a trace from the graph, and below, in the Trace Waterfall view, I can explore the spans which are sub-operations of this particular trace. Finally, under the Details panel, I select to view logs, which takes me to the Cloud Logging page, where I can see detailed log entries associated with the request that initiated this trace. In summary, this allows you to see how requests propagate through services in separate projects, and helps you to identify sources of poor performance across your entire stack. On to error reporting. Error reporting counts, analyzes, and aggregates the crashes in your running cloud services. A dedicated view shows the error details, time chart, occurrences, affected user count, first and last seen dates, and a cleaned exception stack trace. You can opt in to receive email and mobile alerts on new errors. Finally, the last major component of measuring your application's performance is Cloud Profiler. Poorly performing code increases the latency and cost of applications in web services every day without anyone knowing or doing anything about it. To solve it, Cloud Profiler continuously analyzes the performance of CPU intensive and memory intensive functions across an application. Cloud Profiler does this by using statistical techniques an extremely low impact instrumentation that runs across all production application instances 
to provide a complete CPU and heat picture of an application without slowing it down. To set up Cloud Profiler, you first include a language-specific profiling agent in your application. Whether it is running in GC EVMs, App Engine, or GKE, the agent then collects profiling data as the app runs. As you can see from the image on the right, Cloud Profiler presents the call hierarchy and resource consumption of the relevant function in an interactive flame graph that helps developers understand which paths consume the most resources and the different ways in which their code is actually called. Now that you've seen many operations in application performance management tools, how should you use them to bring your ideas to market faster and to be more responsive to your customers? Well, Google Site Reliability Engineering, or SRE, is the answer. SRE is how operations at Google adopted DevOps. The five SRE design principles, redefine reliability, reduce toil, balance speed and risk, make small changes, and create the right culture, help you accomplish these goals. The tools we introduced were designed based on Google's own operations experience and development of SRE practices. A key area of practice for SRE is monitoring. Cloud monitoring, which pulls data from multiple sources, not only gives you the visibility you need to quickly determine service health and diagnose your applications when things go wrong, but also addresses the fundamental monitoring needs of SRE with components such as SLO monitoring, dashboards, and its analytics capabilities through default and custom metrics. Let me tell you about a customer success story. Cricky is a gaming company which aims to bring the excitement of interacting with characters through augmented reality by leveraging stories that are rarely told in mainstream gaming. With four separate games, all requiring multiple video feeds, they rely on cloud operations to monitor, troubleshoot, and improve their application's performance. In particular, the cloud monitoring dashboard gives them deep visibility into latency, downtime, and the overall health of their applications. Here's a joint quote from Cricky CEO and CTO. Having one integrated view of alerts, SLOs, events, and logs via the dashboard, which allows us to quickly identify which container has a problem, fix the container, and redeploy. In this episode today, you got to see the fundamental components in making your application perform better with a consistent and effortless observability and monitoring of your resources. Thank you for joining us on this episode about cloud operations. To continue exploring, check out our suggestions on the links in the description. We'll see you next time for an overview of billing, a critical component of your Google Cloud presence. You will learn about different discounting options, how billing works, and how to manage your costs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to click on the bell icon to get notified each time we post a new video. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time.